Oklahoma State and Baylor. Chad LZ with the strip up to Wendell Greenleaf, who's going to float it up and in. He had 11. Baylor's up by two. Frederick Gonzian says, come on, guys. Let's get focused. Later in the second, Baylor up one. Maurice Baker for three. Cowboys by two. Later, Baylor is down by one, and it's Greenleaf. Over to Matt Saman. And Saman lays it up and lays it in. Bears up one. Later in the second, Cowboys now up one. Baker, who had 12, two more, and Oklahoma State wins it 68-57, bouncing back from its first loss of the season, a defeat to Texas Saturday. Baker, who played just 11 minutes in that game because of a bad groin to 12 points in 37 minutes. And this one says he's only about 80% healthy. Seton Hall, Syracuse. Louis Orr, former Syracuse player and assistant coach. Now the head man for Seton Hall. Deshaun Williams to Preston Shumpert for three. And a foul. Four-point play. Syracuse up five. Later in the first half. Here comes Syracuse. James Theus to Craig Ford, who had a career high 12. Second half, Orangeman up 12. Theus, who had 10 points, nine assists, and six steals. To Deshaun Williams for three. Williams had 18 points. Later in the second, Syracuse up 21. Theus to Shumpert. A one-handed lookout from below. And it's teacher beating pupil. Final count 85-70. Orangemen have won five in a row. Also marks the first time Jim Beheim defeats one of his former players. Syracuse sizzling from the floor all game long. They made 61% of their shots. Miami St. John's Hurricanes no longer undefeated. Canes forward James Jones said Tuesday, our baseball teams won the national championship, football teams won the national championship, we're friends with all those guys, and they're telling us it's our turn. Is it Jones' turn inside? And, uh, no. He got on TV even though he was one for six. Miami led by one at the half, though. John Salmon's shot gets rejected. Abe Cato swats Michael Simmons. Miami just three of 30 from the field in the second half. That's a weak 10%. Marcus Hatton, the turnover. Marcus Hatton. Mm, bacon. St. John's win. Indiana. Less than six seconds on the shot clock. Jared Jeffries almost loses the ball. Somehow it goes in. He had 21. And Jeffries on defense. A rejection there. A rejection there. And a rejection there. Jeffries everywhere. Tom Coverdale for three. Next time down, Coverdale again. And then the Hoosiers. Coverdale, 22 total points. Six out of eight from three-point land. And look at the final. Tom Izzo's bunch cream, 83-65. The Hoosiers in this game, 14 threes. Worst loss, worst loss for Michigan State since February of 98. The Spartans' first three-game losing streak since 96-97. Charlotte, Cincinnati, Huggy Bears won 13 straight, longest winning streak in the nation. Second half, Bearcats lead by 10. Jason Maxiel gets a rebound, give an effort, puts it back. He had a double-double, 15 points, 13 rebounds. Steve Logan decides to pull up, shoots from there, and from there, cash in for three. Bearcats up 12, Logan finished with 13 points. And on the next possession, Logan on the break. Leonard Stokes filling it up. Two of his team high 19. Bearcats win at 71 58. What they do, they lock down on defense. Hold the 49ers to 29.5% shooting. Joby Thomas, just five for 15, said he was tired working just to get the ball. But when he finally got it, he was too tired to shoot. Charlotte 0 7 all time in Cincinnati. Mississippi State, Arkansas, Brandon Dean. How did that go in? Who needs to look? Watch it again. Dean turning around. That's going to be an H-O-R-S-E if you're playing that game. Arkansas now up five. Dean, the steal off the inbounds. And the great shot again. He had 16. And now it's Dean coming up with a rejection in transition. Gennaro Pargo is going to hit the jumper. He had a team-high 18. And Arkansas, the upset, they win it by the final score of 75 to 64. The Bulldogs fall to 1-12 all-time in Fayetteville. It's the 11th straight loss at Arkansas. The 11 losses have come by an average of 19.3. C State, Forest State, really enjoyed its upset win over Duke. Said forward Mike Matthews, I just watched SportsCenter all night. Thank you, Mike. I just wanted to live it as long as I can. Waking up and seeing the highlights, it's something I could not believe. Back to reality. Clifford Crawford goes behind the back and lays it in. NC State up six early. Then Anthony Grundy gets a steal. One of 21 FSU turnovers. Grundy all the way for the jam, and NC State 
wins it 77-62. Not shooting straight. Travis Watson misses the three. Chris Williams fails to convert the three. The Cavs one for ten from three in the first half, and it got worse for the Wahoos in the second. Negative feedback for Adam Hall. Roger Mason Jr. finished two for 24 for the game. Clemson heating up. Jamar McKnight is going to be on the finishing end of the alley-oop. McKnight, good night. Clemson up eight. Four minutes left. Tigers by 15. Edward Scott trapped by the Virginia players. Going to make a nice alert. Athletic play. Gets it to McKnight. Slam it, thank you. Clemson, they're pleased. They're moist. Clemson, 68-52. Virginia's second straight loss after a nine-zip start. Low basketball game. And a great one. Justin Hamilton taking it in. Runner is good. Ford is up three. Tennessee now down one. Jenis Grindstaff to Marcus Hayslip for the jam along the baseline. Now Tennessee's up four. Hayslip on the inside again. Offensive board up and good. Tennessee's up six. Ford trying to come back. Matt Bonner to David Lee. And a foul. It's the free throw Gators within three. Florida down four, less than a minute to go. James White, long range for three. Florida within one. Now they're down three. Hamilton left all alone and look out below. So the Gators now within one. Florida trailing by three, less than 10 to go. Brent Nelson got the three. Forces overtime. Clutch three by Brett Nelson. In the OT. It's White rebounding his own miss. Gators up two. And then with the game tied at 96, White gets the rebound. Nelson, nice fake for three. That's good. And Florida wins it 104 100 in OT. Brett Nelson, the 20, leads six Gators in double figures. Justin Hamilton, 22 points, also had 10 assists. Vincent Yarbrough, a game high 26 in the loss for the balls. Florida improved to 13 and 1 overall and 2 and 0 in the SEC. More SEC. Georgia visiting Rupp Arena. Tubby Smith hadn't lost the dogs since leaving after 8 and 0. Late second half, Georgia down four now, down just one. Ezra Williams, one of his six threes, he had 20. Keith Bogans, Gerald Fitch, also for three, he had 13. And Kentucky now up 82-8. A little more than a minute, tied at 82. Jarvis Hayes gets it stolen by Bogans, and then somehow gets it back, puts it in. He had a career high 30, 84-82. Take another look. Bogans, very nice steal. But as he's falling out, spins, throws it back, and right back to Hayes. Cheapest steal and two we'll ever get. Next UK possession, 45 seconds left. Hawkins misses. Bogans rebounds. Block. Cliff Hawkins again. He's blocked. Poor rebounding. Good D by the Dogs. 24 ticks left. Catch down 85 82. Hawkins got a shot. He's three guys around him. It doesn't fall. And Tayshawn Prince, leading scorer for Kentucky, didn't touch the ball. And two key possessions late for Kentucky as they fall 88 84. It's the first win for Georgia at Rupp since 1985. Just the Dogs' third win in Lexington all time. The other came at Buell Armory in 1923. The Cats' 16 game win streak against Georgia has snapped. Their 22 game conference home run is also dust. Things have gotten so bad for the Tar Heels that reporters are looking up the program's all-time lows before the games even start. So as the Heels take on the fourth-ranked Terrapins, here are the facts. Worst loss in Maryland, 25 points, 1939. Worst loss at Cole Fieldhouse, just 18 points in 1959. And the most points allowed to the Terps, 106. Now get out and race her, because we're going to make some changes. There's a turtle. First half, Maryland already up 9. Juan Dixon stealing all the way in for the layup, and he's just getting started. Matt Doherty's getting worked up to the point. He got a technical, and then the bad stuff really started happening to him. It's a highlight film time. It's layup time. It's blowout city. There is no chance for North Carolina to come back and win this basketball game. Yeah, Dick gave it away. I mean... Oh, well, they tried shooting drill. Juan Dixon for three at 29. Steve Blake, he had 12 and 14 assists. Brian Mouton for three at 17. Taj Holden at five. That's three of them. Drew Nicholas, five points. That's three of them. Maryland up 86-54. Now it's a 32-point lead. Chris Wilcox, you know, threes are so easy. Maybe just a big dunk here, huh?
Wilcox, he's one of those guys with unlimited potential. You know, we have our battles once in a while, but he's going to be a great player for us. And late in the second half, let's go back to the threes. Andre Collins trips 13 to 23 from deep. That's 57 percent. Maryland wins it 112 79. The Heels' last trip to Cole, get out. We're showing in that building in all the categories we previously mentioned. The loss, consecutive losses by 20 plus for the first time in 47 years for the Tar Heels. The 112 allowed an all time low anytime, any place, anywhere for UNC. And the Terps now 8 0 at Cole. Blake's 14 assists. That was a career high. Nebraska and Kansas. As Jayhawks hit their first six threes, Jeff Boshi got the roll. Next possession, Boshi. That's good. He went four out of eight in the game for three point land, finished with 16 points. Next possession, Kirk Heinrich. He went three out of five from long range, finished with 13. And on the next possession after that, it's Keith Langford joining the three point party. Kansas rolling 96 57. The dynamic duo up front, Nick Collison, 20 points, 13 boards. Drew Gooden, seventh straight double double, 16 points, 12 boards. Aaron Miles, a school freshman record with 12 assists. Illinois and Purdue, Gene Cady and company hoping to avoid an 0 3 Big Ten start. John Allison for Purdue in the second half on the offensive board. Purdue's up three. Later in half number two, Willie D. Spotting up for three, finished with 12. Purdue's up six. Then it's Allison again. Nice move. And Purdue is up by 10. Then Darmetrius Kilgore. Long three. And Purdue wins at 84 75. Rodney Smith, 17 points to lead six Purdue players in double figures. Vandy, Alabama. Crimson Todd rolls in ranked 15th. Irwin Dudley. Rod Grizzard. Yeah, that's all. Irwin got him a rebound opportunity. Grizzard got the rebound and the two. He had 19 in the second. 92-79. Bama. Texas Tech, Texas A&M. Bob Knight in the Big 12. And do any of the Aggie fans really miss Tony Baroni? How about Bernard King? Why? Well, he's the Vols' sixth all-time scorer. 1,962 points. And he's got a namesake now playing for Texas A&M. No Ernie Grunfield in the highlight. 18 seconds left in the game. A&M down four. King grabs the rebound. Got it to go. He had 20. 10 rebounds, 10 assists. That's a triple-double. King with a chance to win it. A&M down two. Five seconds left. He gets iron. Texas Tech holds on to win it. 72. Western and Iowa. Reggie Evans, the steal. It's a big man with some agility. Iowa's up by nine. Late in the first half, it's still a nine-point edge. Evans strips it from Aaron Jennings. Luke Recker to Evans for the jam. Second half, Iowa's up by 10. Luke Recker, still a college basketball player. Has he been around forever, or does it just seem that way? Four out of four for three-point land. Pierre Pierce to Recker, who had 20. Iowa wins it 70 to 60. Evans, 21 points, 11 boards. Iowa has won seven of eight. Hawkeyes shot a season-high 60% and won, even though they matched the season-high with 22 turnovers. Wisconsin at Penn State, great finish. Here it is. And a 7-0 run in the last couple of minutes. Outside the arc to tie. Oh, Devin points. Harris came in 33 of 88, a 38% three-point shooter. Watkins to win. Easiest highlight of the night. Penn State wins it 51-49. Ain't that the truth. Boston College, Villanova. Troy Bell. Team's down 3, 70, 67. High off the glass. They're down 170, 69. After a Villanova free throw, 71, 69. Bell again. Ding, ding. We're tied at 71. Bell, 36 points. Six and a half seconds remaining. Nova got a chance, got the inbounds pass, and Ricky Wright throws it ahead to his coach, Jay Wright. So Jay Wright's wearing slacks. He's out of bounds, so we're going to call that a turnover. We're going to go to overtime tied at 71. In the extra session, BC up 75-71, and adding to it, Derek Snowden is rejected, and Ryan Sidney on the other end. He's got a flush. He had 14. BC wins at 88-81. Yay for us. No class tomorrow. Troy Bell effective from the floor, 10 of 21, but did most of his damage from the free throw line, 13 of 14 from the stripe. All three of Villanova's losses have come in overtime. The Cats turned over five times in that extra period. 
17th ranked Missouri visiting Hilton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa. Kareem Rush, his team's down seven. His team's down four with the big three. He had 29, 12 of 20 from the floor. Iowa State's next possession. Tyree Pearson misses, but Omar Bynum is there to follow for the only two points scored by the Cyclones bench all night. Five-point game. Jake Sullivan played all 40 minutes, contributed 20 points. His team back up a handful. Buck 20 remaining. Marcus Jefferson. Leaves it for Pearson. He also played all 40 minutes. He had 28. Cyclones win at 71-67. And Marquette and Louisville. Second half, Louisville's down by six. Carlos Hurt for three. three. And Louisville is within three. More from the Cardinals. Luke Whitehead, open court. Louisville up three, 69-66. Marquette, though, the final answer. Cordell Henry driving, long J. And Marquette. Goes on to win 75 to 71. Dwayne Wade, 15 points. Marquette coming back at loser, creating opportunities for his teammates to rebound. Missing inside, Mike Dunleavy did not miss. And then Chris Duhon going to steal the inbounds pass, put away two of his 13. That little sequence puts Duke up eight zip. Later in the first, watch Duke's ball movement. Williams kicks out to Duhon to Dunleavy at 23 points. Two of eight from three, six of six from the twos. It works out well. 16 for Duke. Coach K unhappy with the refs, and he just got hit with a T. He's hot. He's a Hall of Famer. He's encouraged. Look at him. He's encouraging the crazy. Jay, Jay, who is this man? He wanted to see intensity from his team, and he's going to lead him and show the intensity himself. And some intensity defensively from Dante Jones. The athletic transfer from Rutgers coming up with a steal. Duke really scored well off its defense. They forced 29 Georgia Tech turnovers, 18 in the first half. And this is where Duke just kills you. The opportunistic three in transition, pitching back to Mike Dunleavy, who drops it down. Mm. And Daniel Ewing, he can shoot a little bit, too. Inside, that was fancy. 13 points, 25 minutes. Duke up 52-23. Time running down in the first half. Williams pulls the trigger, hits it, 14 points. 58-32 at the break. They just had one of those running clocks after intermission. All adds up to a Duke 104-79 route. Apparently losing does not sit well with the Duke types. Blue Devils win their 11th in a row over Georgia Tech. The last five by at least 19 points. The last two at home, they combined 69 points. Duke's won its six home games this season by an average of 27. They cracked the 100-point mark for the fourth time this season. Absolutely. Yeah, you love the UCLA USC. How about Brandon Granville to Sam Clancy? Clancy, high percentage shot, 13 8 Trojans. Later in the first, Matt Barnes drives baseline, reverse, got it, two points, 22 21 UCLA up. Not for long. USC on the break. Eric Craven, slam, and the foul, a hard foul. He hangs in there, gets the finish. Trojans are up eight, USC up two. Brandon Granville finding Sam. I am again. Sam taking it right to the cup. Got to stop him from getting to the the rim. 425, UCLA down four gets interesting. How about Matt Barnes? Matt Barnes been working on a little turnaround jumper. For three, thank you. He had 34, 12 of 17 shooting. UCLA down just one. 309 left. Craven stealing. Running the floor all by his lonesome. The slam? No, sometimes he's laid in. All counts for two. 69, 64 Trojans. Less than a minute to go. UCLA down five. Billy Knight with the long three. UCLA still in it. Two point game with the next possession. Craven drives. There's Clancy. Damage. USC going to win it 81 to 77. There was some court stormage in this one. USC now the only undefeated team left in the Pac-10. They are 5-0. and oh. they have won. So here from the players, there's going to be live sideline chats throughout the game. It's the East-West Shrine game, 1.30 Eastern, Saturday on ESPN2. Stanford, 11th ranked Stanford visiting Oregon State. Justin Davis, six points, four boards in 14 minutes. Still in the first half, Jacobson draws his third foul. He'd sit out the rest of the half. Take a seat. Stanford up three at the break. Second half, though, Beavers up two. Joe C. C, six points. Beavers up four. Later in the second with Stanford up one, Jake takes over. Jacobson, he's good from there. Stanford up four. Moments later, Julius Barnes. Behind the back, Jacobson for the sweet dunk. Stanford up six, and then moments later, Barnes. You know, the force is strong in that one. Jacobson with 15 points. Stanford makes it look simple. 67 to 50, the final. First time Stanford has ever won three straight games at Oregon State. Freshman Josh Childress had 19 points off the bench. The Beavers missed 12 of their final 16 shots. Number 21, Arizona, Washington State. 
Luke Walton's first game back after missing three games with a strained Achilles tendon, and Luke Walton hits the three. He's two for two from three-point range. I feel the other one coming, too. I'm just going to leave that out there. Zona up 10. Mike Bush, pretty wraparound. Yeah, just stay with it. You don't make it the first time, just stay with it. Walton, alley-oop up there to Will Bynum. Very good, like that. Just under a minute in the first half. Wazoo by one. Walton, here's that other three-pointer. Call for it, get it, shoot it. 15 points, 11 assists, seven rebounds. That is a nice line for that kid. Late second, U of A by seven. Marcus Moore drains a three, cuts it to four. Wazoo's next possession, Jay Locklear, baseline hook shot. It's a two-point game. Lute Olsen, not happy about this. Get the clock running faster, please. Zona's next possession, Jason Gardner. That guy's been doing for him all year. The returning starter, 92-85, is your final. Gardner, 23 points, 5 assists. He's led the team in scoring in 12 of their first 14 games. For Washington State, their 33rd straight loss to Arizona. That's 3-3. Three, three. Haven't beaten them since 1986. California, Oregon, more Pac-10 work. Amit Tamir, Tamir, got it for three. He had 19 on the night. Cal goes up seven. Ducks fight back. Ducks, very versatile animal. They can swim, they can fly, they can walk. And here, they can eventually put one back. Freddie Jones gets the loose pile. He had 22 points. Good hustle. Oregon still down four, less than four to play. Luke Ridnar, good for three. It's a one-point game. Less than two to play. Oregon just rolling along. Luke Jackson without a field goal all night. Drives and puts in the tough one. Ducks finish. 10-0 run. Win at 76-72. And then we got drama. UC Irvine, Utah State, second half. Aggies down two. Ronnie Ross teeing it up and banging it home with 4.8 left. He had 20. Utah State up one. The Anteaters coming back. Jerry Green. Jerry Green going to finish with 31, and he's also going to put an end to Utah State's 31-game home unbeaten streak, 67-66. You see Irvine springs the upset in Logan. Butler, Detroit, Perry Watson and the Titans going for the 36th home win in a row. Willie Green, spinorama, Titans up three. Still in the second half. Butler's Ryland Hangey and one. We have a tie game at 47, but late in the second half, his name, Greg Graves. No one's covering him, really. Titans go on to win. Detroit taking out 23rd ranked Butler. Titans winning their 36th straight game at Callaghan Hall, second longest home court streak in the nation to Michigan State. And Detroit avoids its first 0 3 start in conference play since 1992. Virginia Tech hosting UConn. Crazy stuff. Tony Robertson to Karan Butler, who misses it. Now, Butler goes down. Now, Scott Hamilton with a rebound, thinks a foul's called, walks, and then gets his shot blocked, and Hokies go the other way. Brian chased the layup at the buzzer. Coach Jim Calhoun wants to know why there was no whistle. The hoop counts. UConn still led at the half by nine, and then Robinson, yeah. Part of a nine-zip run. Huskies roll 95 to six. Tag of Bulldogs winners of 10 in a row, second half, tight game, 60-59, and Dickow strokes a three, gives it a four-point march. More Dickow at a season high, tied a season high with 29 points. His team's up 66-59, but Santa Clara, they're not going away. Steve Ross making like Steve Nash, 38 points. He drops on the Zag, 70-66. Zag's going to hold on to this one. They're actually the Bulldogs. Inside, Ronnie Turoff, he's got it. Gonzaga wins at 83-81. Yeah, that, he's growing some hair like Wesley Stokes. Zag's now 14-2, best start to a season. First time since 